low intensity, okay? We do light weights, we do Zumba, we do a vibration plate yoga, ride a bike, go for a walk, do a circuit. We're all doing light exercise. What do the bands do? The bands simply slow oxygen down. All I've done by putting this on is slow down the venous return of blood. I've turned the garden hose down a quarter of a turn. I'm not cutting it off. These aren't a blood pressure cuff. We've got studies. There's no increase in arterial pressure. You're pumping away. But if we decrease this blood going back to the body, the muscle can't get the same amount of oxygen in and out. So we cut the oxygen in half. Now you're going for a walk, and it's like you're running. You're doing light weights. It's like you're lifting heavy weights. You do air squats, and you get them, it feels like you got 500 pounds on your shoulders. And you're able to now fatigue your muscles at a level that is going to stimulate adaptation versus exercising below the oxygen threshold, nothing really changes. I mean, how many times have you done an exercise program and your body really doesn't change, right? Why is that? Because you're not producing any growth hormone. Growth hormone is what causes the body to change. How does your body function? Your body basically looks at what you're doing and says, hey, do I need to adapt? Do I need to make you better? If you go out and you get a hard burn in your muscles and you lift heavy weights or you run sprints or you do high intensity exercise, your body goes, whoa, I gotta make you better next time. So it releases growth hormone 15 minutes after exercise and you either get stronger or you hit a golf ball further or you have more endurance, whatever the exercise you're doing, you adapt. <laughs> if you don't exercise hard enough, you don't change a bit. And you can walk until you die, you're not gonna build any muscle. I mean, you can walk and walk and walk, and unless you really reduce your calories, you're not going to lose any weight because you're not exercising strong enough to get a hormonal response. So now you put these on, you go for a walk, you do some light air squats, you hit golf balls, you get in his program and do some of his exercises, and your strength will go through the roof. Your metabolism will skyrocket. Growth hormone will be turned on. Your bones will get stronger, ladies. You won't get osteoporosis if you've got... High blood pressure, it'll probably come down. If you have hypothyroidism, it turns on your thyroid. All the benefits of high intensity exercise will kick in. And every time you do a BFR session with the bands, you're going to burn an extra six to 800 calories while you're sitting on the couch eating Doritos. <laughs> That's a game changer. You know, how did you look at his physique? <laughs> Muscle. You know, and he's working out less than he was before. What's the difference? He's got the bands on and he's creating a fatigue in his muscle that stimulates adaptation. And that fatigue isn't gonna hurt, you're not gonna be sore the next day because you're not lifting heavy weights, and it's pretty easy. You just gotta simply feel the burn from exercise. Who's using this? LeBron James is using this, you don't believe me, I got a picture on my phone, I'm not allowed to share it though. Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs, Dr. Mercola, you ever heard that name? Yeah. This is how he trains, okay? You know, Gaylord's gonna take it to the whole golf world. Once golfers start using this, it'll completely revolutionize golf training. If you're just recreational, you wanna hit a ball straighter, farther, he'll tell you it's all about core strength and technique. You're gonna develop incredible core strength. We've got seniors using it, people in wheelchairs that can do light exercise. All kinds of high school athletes, recreational athletes. I mean, the list goes on and on. So if I would've came here Back when we launched in 2019, here's what I would have said. Same thing, and I would have said to you, I think this is going to be big. That's why I started the company. Now we're at 2022, here's what I can tell you. This is coming. This is coming to exercise everywhere. It's coming to every discipline. You're going to be hearing about it over the next two, three years. So, I mean, you are right at the beginning of this big explosion in this. <laughs> Every athletic trainer in the country is starting to learn about all the physical therapists, all the celebrities are starting to tap into it. So, I mean, this is a huge trend, all backed by science. We have studies on growth hormone. We have studies on bone density. We have studies on increased cerebral blood flow. We have studies on hypothyroidism. We have studies on vein health. By the way, ladies, this improves your vein health. But think about it. What do they tell every person who has hypothyroidism? Go read the American Thyroid Association's website. Do high intensity exercise. You know, what do they tell women? Do endurance, vigorous endurance exercise for your, for your veins. So this just taps in to all of those systems. So that's kind of my short, quick one. How many people have not had the bands on before? Oh, you're gonna love it. I love it so far. Yeah, any questions? Yeah. Go ahead. I tried the bands one day, and uh, what'd you feel? 
pump. It felt good. I, I really, you know, felt the pump and burn, didn't you? Different, but I got this ball in the back of my leg that just blew up. Mm -hmm. It was painful. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what it was. So I just stopped. Mm -hmm. so yeah, let me look at it. You might have just, you might have had an old hamstring injury in there or something that you aggravated or. Ah, yeah. No, it was like a golf ball. It was hard and. Hmm. Did it go hard. away? Yeah. Okay. Did. Yeah. Yeah, you might have flared up an old hamstring injury. I mean, if you go in the gym and do high intensity exercise and you haven't done it before, you're, you're probably going to, you might injure a muscle or something. So this is simulating that. So the one thing you don't want to do is just put these on and go crazy. You're not going to hurt yourself, but if you put them on and go crazy, you're, I mean, you're going, you probably won't be able to walk for a day or two. I mean, it's like going in the gym. So you start nice and easy and then you build yourself up. Anybody else with a question? What would be nice and easy? Well, we'll do it right here. All right. Yeah. Light workout, you do some upper body, do some air squats, do some walking, feel a light burn, you're done. Eight to 10 minutes, you're done. Yeah. yeah. And then you can continue that same light program. If you want to chisel your body, you want to get guns, you want to get a six pack, then you push a little bit. I mean, the basic rule is this, when you feel the burn, you, most people that exercise, you go to the gym, you do some weights, and you exercise and you exercise, and then you get to the burn, and then you're like, okay, I'm done. The burn's where everything starts. That's not where it ends. All the work up to the burn is just irrelevant. The burn is where it starts. So if you want to change your health and your fitness and lose weight, when you feel the burn, step on the gas a little bit. I mean, it's not super painful, but it's all, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lactic acid burn. But if you just step on the gas a little bit and push through and then push more, I mean, you will completely. I mean, look at, look at the people who look at the people who have bands. I mean, these guys over here, I mean, you completely re-chiseled their entire physiques. Yeah. And Gaylord's completely re-chiseled his. Doc and Channing have completely re-chiseled their physiques. I mean, I'm 58. I have three joints replaced. And I can't, you know, I can't do heavy weights. I do no weights on my lower body, and I got nice, big, strong legs. All I do is five minutes on the elliptical, and I do some light stuff like this. That's all I do. Yeah. Dr. Mike, can you talk about using him for rehab? Mm-hmm. Well, think about rehab. Rehab, you're injuring, you got an injury or a surgery or a fracture or something, and you're trying to rehab the muscles and joints to prevent deconditioning and then improve function. Well, this immediately stops any muscle wasting. So as soon as you can get the bands on, you'll be able to do something very light and get the muscles to a fatigue point where they won't decondition. Bottom line is on rehab and therapy all across the country, outcomes are improving 30 to 50 percent across the board. I had a hip replacement. One of the things, there's two stories I've got real quick that motivated me to do this. One, first hip replacement took me 12 weeks, was pretty good. This hip replacement, six hours after I woke up from surgery, I was sitting on the edge of the bed doing my arms. Why am I doing that? I'm keeping growth hormones moving while I'm recovering from a surgery. Growth hormone will crash in an injury. So you're killing your healing time. So you work a non-injured body part. And the nurses came in and they about lost their mind because I was up on the edge of the bed, but that's kind of a different story. So in five, in five weeks, I was running up down the stairs and I've got the video on, it just blew my mind. And then my son, I played football all his life, 17 years old, he must have played division one football as fast as 40 yard dash time, was a four six forty. And that's pretty good, but that's not like D1 wide receiver speed. He needs to be four or five or faster, and he was a quarterback. They said, look, dude, you want to play, you want to play D1, you want to play Big Ten or Mac or Mountain West, you've got to, you've got to be a wide receiver. So I gave the bands to his speed trainer. In eight weeks, he went from running 19 miles an hour to 21. He went up to Ohio State, ran a 4 3 5 40. I've got the card. Ten scholarship offers like that. We've got a Utah volleyball player put six inches on her vertical in eight weeks. And Gail will tell you, he's seeing the metrics move. This moves metrics in performance all the way across the board extremely fast. Because you're going from working out like a recreational amateur athlete to working out like an Olympic athlete. That's basically what you're doing. Without all the work, without the soreness and pain. Mm -hmm. Anybody else with a question before we put some bands on? Dr. Mike, <clears throat> Uh, half of America is on uh, medicine, uh, blood pressure, heart disease, POD, mm -hmm. you name it. So is this for healthy people only, or if no. we sell it to uh, downlines on... Which one you want Which one you want me to give you the two-minute spiel on? 
Cardiovascular disease or insulin resistance? Those are the cardiovascular two. Cardiovascular disease. Here's, cardi here's, your cardio here's how your cardiovascular system works. Your heart's a motor. Its job is to pump. It doesn't improve its pumping by you exercising. You exercising for 30 to 45 minutes in the heart zone does nothing. Your heart's not going to change. What changes you is your blood vessels. Your blood vessels are flexible and their job is to rebound so when the blood comes out, it comes back. As you age, your growth hormone slows down, yep. your blood vessels become more rigid and more sclerotic and you get hardening of the arteries. There you go. Okay? And then the arteries start to get little cracks in them, free radical damage. Your body fixes that. It'll never spring a leak, but it starts covering up with a plaque. It's called atherosclerosis. There's cardiovascular disease. Okay? But if you exercise, you can actually reverse that. There's three stages of exercise that affect your cardiovascular system. If I start walking real fast, my heart elevates, right? Why is it doing that? It's trying to get blood faster to the muscles to bring the oxygen. If you push that hypoxia in your muscles a little bit deeper, where most people can't get, you get a release of nitric oxide. You ever heard of nitric oxide? Mm -hmm. Pre-workout stuff. If you get the natural stuff, that'll thin your blood and it'll reverse hardening of the arteries. If you go stage three hypoxia, where most of you have never been, which you'll be able to do in the bands, you'll get VEGF, vascular endothelial growth factor. It will completely remodel your blood vessels. I challenge anybody who's got high blood pressure, walk in the doc your doctor's office and say, hey doc, what would happen if I got a little nitric oxide and VEGF? He'd look at you and go, where you been? what have you been reading? <laughs> What'd he say? And you say, no, doc, tell me. He said, well, you've reversed cardiovascular disease. It's, all, it's what all the studies show. Your blood vessels will become flexible again. So the summary is this. If you're not doing vigorous exercise, which we've been told we have to do our entire life, your cardiovascular system's going like this. If you are, it's going in the other direction. Same thing with insulin resistance. Your body is designed to do exercise vigorous your entire life. You're not designed to be sedentary. If you're sedentary, you're going to have hypothyroidism, you're going to eventually have cardiovascular problems, you're going to have weight problems, and you're going to have insulin resistance. It's, they're not diseases. They're just, you're not treating your body the way it's supposed to be treated. It will happen in every single human body, it's just a matter of time. Because that's how your body works. Most Americans are overweight, with POV in their legs, yeah. and this thing pressurizing the leg, is there any side effect on that? Uh, POD or I tell people rain. this is safe. I put them on my 85. I mean, I've got close to 20,000 people using it. But here's what I would do I'd go out and type in BFR and death into Google. Well, I would do <clears throat> say, anybody drop any dropping dead of BFR? It's not happening. And there's millions of people around the world doing this now. It's like doing normal exercise, right? right. So if you can't walk from here over to your golf cart without dropping dead, don't put the bands on and walk over to your golf cart, you're gonna drop dead. It's, you're simulating exercise. You, there's no clot, you know, your heart's not gonna explode. People think, oh, my heart will explode. Oh, I'll throw a clot, that doesn't happen. This doesn't happen, but I would encourage you, and we've got the safety studies to go do some research on it. I mean, there's a reason Marco was doing this. He put 10 pounds on and he was losing muscle. He couldn't put any muscle on, why? He can't lift heavy weights. And he's not 20 years old anymore. Anybody else have a question before we slap on some bands? Put on the bands. Awesome, let's put some bands on. I got a few people who want to do it. So if you haven't had bands on yet, come on out here and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start banding you up. Good shape.